in this video you will find that a magnifying glass has been held directly in front of sunlight and above a piece of paper now you will notice a very bright and sharp spot of light that is being formed on the paper you will also notice that exactly at that point the paper is burning now what do you think is happening the sunlight is falling on the magnifying glass and on the other end a very bright sharp spot of light that is the image is being formed now why do you think that the paper is being burned due to this sharp spot of light this question is going to be answered in the successive slides now if you feel the magnifying glass you will find that the surface of the magnifying glass is not flat it is actually curved now you might wonder that the surface is curved so exactly how is it helping to burn the paper now before i answer that let me tell you one more thing the surface is curved as well as there is no reflecting surface so there is no reflecting surface and the surface is curved so clearly it is not any sort of mirror now if you feel it closely you will find that the magnifying glass is thicker at the center and thinner at the edges now do you recall what object was thicker at the center or in the middle and thinner at the edges or at the ends that is the magnifying glass is a convex lens why because it is thicker at the center and thinner at the edges so now let us find out what is happening to the rays of the sun when it is falling on the magnifying glass now since the sun is an object that is very far away we have considered parallel rays coming from the sun the magnifying glass is held in such a way so that the principal axis of the magnifying glass is also parallel to the incoming parallel rays so here we have considered two rays ray ab and ray mn now when these rays are incident on the air glass interface of the magnifying glass refraction occurs now due to refraction the rays will bend towards the normal why because in this case the rays were traveling from a rarer medium that is air to a denser medium that is glass now inside glass these rays travel as refracted rays np and refracted ray bc now in glass they encounter the glass air interface so at this interface rays bc and np are traveling from a denser medium to a rarer medium so as a result refraction will again occur and these rays will bend away or shift away from the normal so the moment this happens these rays converge at a point on the principal axis it is at this point that the entire heat of the incoming light rays is getting converged so a bright spot of light is being formed and when the paper is kept at this point it is getting burnt so we found that it is due to the converging of the light rays at this particular point on the paper the paper burnt we also saw that the light rays that were incoming from the sun were parallel light rays and they were converged by the magnifying glass to a single bright spot or point on the paper so what can we say we can say that convex lens which is the lens a magnifying glass uses is a converging lens because it converges the incoming rays to a point which manages to burn the paper now we get into certain technicalities for a convex lens here we have marked out a point which we are calling the first principal focus and denoting it as f1 now you will notice that we have considered two rays incident on the convex lens from f1 these two rays are incident on the convex lens and once they meet at the air glass interface they are refracted towards the normal because they are traveling from a rarer medium to a denser medium so these refracted rays keep traveling in glass and again they encounter the glass air interface so now they are traveling from 
a denser medium to a rarer medium so in this case they will bend away from the normal or shift away from the normal now you can see that when this is happening these light rays are becoming parallel to one another as well as parallel to the principal axis so how can we define the first principal focus we can define the first principal focus in the following manner it is a point on the principal axis of the convex lens such that the rays of light that are starting from the first principal focus after refraction from the two surfaces of the lens that is at both the surfaces after refraction these light rays emerge parallel to the principal axis of the lens it is important to remember that when the light rays are incident on the convex lens from f1 after refraction at both the surfaces they become parallel to the principal axis of the lens now we consider another term here you find that parallel rays of light are incident on the convex lens so when they are incident on the air glass interface they undergo refraction now the refraction occurs towards the normal that is the light rays after refraction bend towards the normal because they were incident from a rarer medium onto a denser medium now inside the glass that is the convex lens these rays travel and are then incident on the glass air interface the second surface of the lens at this interface also refraction occurs now since the light rays are traveling from a denser medium to a rarer medium refracted rays bend away from the normal or they shift away from the normal and as you can see these refracted rays are converging at a point which we are calling the second principal focus or f2 so how can we define the second principal focus the second principal focus is a point on the principal axis of the convex lens such that the rays of light that are parallel to the principal axis and are incident on the convex lens after refraction from both the surfaces of the lens pass through this point which is the second principal focus so it is important to remember that in the case of second principal focus parallel rays incident on the convex lens are getting converged at f2 that is the second principal focus now we define another term that is known as the focal length now you will see that in case of a convex lens the distance in between the optical center and f2 has been marked as the focal length if you observe closely you will find that parallel rays once incident on the convex lens are getting converged at f2 so conventionally focal length is defined as the distance in between the optical center and the second principal focus and this is marked as focal length which is also denoted by the letter f so if we know what the focal length of a convex lens is we do not need to move the magnifying glass back and forth in sunlight we simply hold the paper at that length from the magnifying glass and we will find that when we hold the paper and magnifying glass at that distance a bright spot of light is formed due to the incoming sun rays and the paper starts burning immediately because these incoming light rays are getting focused or converged at the second principal focus and we are holding the paper at focal length which is the distance in between optical center of the lens and the second principal focus and this is the usual convention